everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kay R. Morgan and today I'm going to talk about my experiences writing and publishing a work of serial fiction. So when I say serial fiction, I simply mean a work of fiction that is published chapter by chapter as opposed to being published as a book as a whole or published as several um, books in a series or something like that. So my story is called Pull. It is a gay romance with a sci-fi twist. The two main characters are named Silas and River. Silas is what I call a fiend. It means that he has the soul of a demon intertwined with his own soul. So a lot of his life is lived according to the will of the demon and feeding the demon and giving the demon what it wants. That's just a part of every fiend's life. River is a witch. I used witch as a gender neutral term. I took it from the pagan community where everybody is, or I guess the Wiccan community specifically, where everybody who practices is a witch, male or female. So River is a witch and that just means simply that he, he is not anything intrinsic like it is for the fiends. It just means that he and his people were given the gift of magic by the gods and they can do um, divine. They have the power to work divine magic. So basically what I have happened in this story is that there's a sort of war coming on because there's also this third group of people in this world I've created called seculars. I call them sex and they're just people. I realize now when I say that out loud how well too late now. <laughs> they're called sex and seculars. <laughs> oh god now I can't stop laughing about it. And that basically is people who don't have magic inside them. Um, of any kind so they don't have divine or demonic magic and they're a lot of times sort of oppressed by the witches in particular the fiends don't really care they do their own thing but the witches um, oppress them because they don't have magic and they believe them to be inferior because of this so what kind of happens is the sex <laughs> the seculars begin this uprising against the witches and it like escalates really quickly it gets really dark really fast and I'm not going to spoil it, but there's greater forces at work. Um, something else is, in, you know, inciting all of this to happen. And in the midst of it, Silas and River fall in love. And it's not really... It, the relationship isn't a big deal for Silas. I mean, I think his feelings are a big deal for him. He's never really felt that way. But for River, a man to love another man is like a big problem in his culture and his community. So he struggles with that. So that's a kind of general overview of my story. And I want to talk about what it was like to write it and publish it on a serial basis. So publishing it on my own, on my blog, as ebooks through Amazon, which anybody can do. Anybody can publish an ebook. And I've never had a book published by like a publishing company or anything like that. So I don't really have any idea what that's like. But I thought maybe I would talk a little bit about this. And then maybe if you are interested in taking the first step and sort of putting your work out there, you could see if this is an option for you. So I have a WordPress blog and I put it out that way. I also have Twitter and Instagram where I put out like short uh, excerpts from each chapter, just sort of advertise. Um, my Instagram is probably, no. My Twitter is the most popular and I still only have like 75 followers. I'm like really small, but that's okay. Um, you know, everybody starts somewhere. And since I have a pseudonym, I didn't bring any people I know in real life over into social media. So that's something to think about. You know, if you have a pseudonym and you're publishing on social media in addition to whatever vehicle you, you, you decide to use for like your main publishing site, in addition to WordPress, I have a Wattpad and Fiction Press account. Fiction Press has been the best way for me to have readers. I have the largest number of readers on Fiction Press as opposed to any other site. Definitely, I would recommend Fiction Press. And I'm actually beta reading for someone right now, and her work is great. Um, maybe I'll link her story below. Writers trying to get their work out there, and you can network and support other people, and that's really great. So one really big lesson that I learned was not treating the story as individual chapters, if that makes sense. So I had written the entirety of Pole um, as a single concrete story, 
And then I decided, you know, I'll edit it chapter by chapter. And each chapter I edit, I'll put up online. And that was only my second edit. And, you know, it. I know that I should edit something more times than that. But I think I really thought, like, oh, I got this. I can just whip out, you know, a second edit and it'll be good. And in retrospect, I definitely would have edited it several more times as a unit as opposed to just editing chapter by chapter as I went along. The first chapter in my experience, the beginning of the story, is already so different anyway because you're just kind of discovering what the story is about. So I definitely should have taken more time editing that and edited the story as a whole and then come back to that. Um, just because the, the beginning is you don't really know what you're doing yet. Like you're figuring everything out while you're writing it. So it needs the most work. And there were a lot of elements that came up in my first chapter that then didn't come up in later parts of the story. I think it felt a little disconnected. So that's definitely something to be wary of if you publish on a chapter by chapter basis. Characters and characterization is so hard and so often gets overlooked. In this story, I will be the first one to tell you that the characters are not fleshed out. Um, yeah. It's just the truth of it. I mean, I, I didn't give them enough attention. I feel guilty looking back because I it's like I created like half people, like zombie people, and just like let them roam around. It's like this almost guilty feeling because they realize, you know, I made a person, but I didn't really flesh them out and really give them a life. I just made kind of a stereotype or a shell of a person. And I only realize that now as I'm preparing for the next book I'm writing and I'm doing like really intense character work and really intense, you know, studies of the characters and how they behave in certain situations. And I realize this is what I should have done. Like I should have known these characters this well before I went in and I don't know them very well. I wrote a whole book of Silas and River and I still feel like I don't know them that well. Don't let the characters fall behind for the sake of the plot. And that's something I think you'll hear a million times as a writer is like, work on your characters, work on your characters, blah, 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 because it's so hard. I mean, how do you make a character? How do you make a person? And the truth is you just write way too much, create way too much information about them. It's not like just kind of writing something for yourself. I am not going to say I had a large fan base. I mean, that is not true at all, but there were people who read my story and there was the sense of obligation. If I was the last chapter, I was a month late because I was just like agonizing over it and I didn't want to finish because I knew the story wasn't in the place I wanted it to be. You know, I, I didn't want to finish it because I knew it wasn't done. And when it's an edit, that's one thing. But when you're putting it out there, it has a sense of finality that makes everything a little more serious. So it can be harder to push yourself to publish each chapter when it you can spend more time being like, oh, is this okay? Is this right? So now I want to talk about the positive things because, you know, going into this video, I felt like there were a ton more negatives to talk about than positives. But then I realized I only had like two or three <laughs> and I have so many more positive things to say. <laughs> so the first positive thing I would say about publishing chapter by chapter as opposed to all at once is that it just gets you to put your work out there. There's Netflix and Facebook and it gets hard and that's something you need to be conscious of. It really gave the push I needed to really just do it. It is so, so easy to put your writing out there. And I think people underestimate that. So another positive to putting out serial fiction is that you do it on your own time. I can't emphasize that enough. You decide when the next chapter is coming out. You decide how long it's going to be. You put the amount of effort into it that you want and you publish it when you feel like it's ready. Another positive is the community. I love the people I've connected with online through Fiction Press, Wattpad, WordPress, um, even like Instagram and Twitter. There's like a great writing community on Twitter. It's fantastic. Regardless of whether you're going to actually publish your stuff, if you're a writer, just join all these social media as an author. You know, you can have your personal account, but I would definitely also have an author account and just publish little short you know, blurbs of things. A lot of times it's like a line from your work in progress. It can be whatever. And that's just a great way to like get your confidence up. Be like, hey, I'm not the only one struggling to get recognized. I'm not the only person who's slaving away over something that like 10 people are going to read. You know, there's other people out there who are just working their butts off and aren't necessarily super famous, super rich authors. And then, you know, you do see the success stories. You see the people who put their work in and they just they reap the rewards and they get known and things do well for them and you say that could be me 
So that community is such a great source of inspiration. So please, if you have the chance, please check out my writing, my story pull. I just finished it a couple days ago. It's a gay sci-fi romance featuring magic, betrayal, love, sex, demons, all kinds of crazy stuff, drugs. Um, it's up on WordPress, it's up on Fiction Press and Wattpad. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll link everything below and that way you can follow me and see what I'm doing as I begin working on my next story. And also you can purchase the ebook on Amazon for only 99 cents. And since you can read it for free, I like to think about that as a donation that you're giving me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. I hope maybe you got something out of this. Um, I would love to hear what you think about this video, about my writing in general. You can comment here or you can comment on any of my social media. So please like and subscribe to this video. You'll get to see next week I do a review of da -da -da -da, The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Such a great, great book. Um, you can see it's a little beat up. You can see how much I love it. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'll do a review of it and then the week after I'll do a reading from it. So you'll get to experience the book in a couple different ways. Thank you so much for watching. Keep reading and keep loving. Bye.